Welcome back to Daybreak and good morning. We're here at a ranch in North Amarillo and I'm here with Vicente Soto and he'll be participating in the Tri-State Fair Parade going on tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And so can you tell us a little bit about the Hispanic traditions? Well, uh, we're horse people, vaqueros, charros, and uh, we like to participate in the, in, in the parade. And before we, we participate, where we train our horses, that one, the paint one is trained. Right here. <laughs> yeah. This one is trained, her name is Dakota. Okay. And the other one is named Henry. The little one is also trained to be participating tomorrow. Okay. And so, as far as the vaqueros and charros, that, that means cowboys uh, for in English, right? And then, so can you tell us the difference between the vaqueros and the charros? Well, uh, the charros, the beginning, are from Mexico. Okay. Uh, you know, in the Jalisco, Michoacán, in the mid, mid Mexico, there were the charros. Okay. And still is a lot of charros okay. over there. But that tradition or that custom or that culture came over here. Now there are charros here very well e equipped that know how to use a horse, that know how to play with a steer, and they work like vaqueros. And so we have these hats on here this morning. and so. Can you tell us the difference between uh, this hat and the one you're wearing, if you could show that one too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, this is a typical Mexican Mexican hat. Uh, we use it in Mexico in the Michoacán, uh, Jalisco, Guanajuato. So this is different. This yeah, is the, more like a Mexican and this is more American hat? Uh, this is more like a cowboy. It can be used cowboy. any cowboy. You know, cowboy is not fancy. It's not uh, anything that... And then we also have these uniforms, which is what the vaqueros and the charros wear. All right, thank you so much, Vicente. Sure. We'll be coming up later on Daybreak showing you some Hispanic rodeo traditions. Stay tuned. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Alyssa, I'm here at a ranch in North Amarillo, and we're here because the Hispanic Heritage Month kicks off this weekend, and I'm here with Vicente Soto, who's the coordinator for Coledero Patio, which is a Mexican rodeo that's going on tomorrow. And so can you tell us about a little bit of the Mexican traditions and, and riding horses? Yes, uh, coleadero is one of the things that uh, charros do in Mexico, as well as here now. This uh, this kind of sport is growing very much. So every year we organize uh, this this festivity, this event, the, the the charro way, which is this is one of the things that we do. Okay, and so you have also this bag here is uh, from the Mexican culture too. Well, no, th this is this is a uh, this is a cowboy working horse. Okay, a cowboy okay, working horse. Yeah. Yeah, this is a cowboy working horse. He's got this guy got his tools there. He goes horseshoeing everywhere, so he can have his tools both sides. Okay. okay. And so, what goes on at the coleadero? Well, we we're gonna have like 50 steers. Okay. And most of them are like 600 pounds, 400 pounds, and uh, we're gonna have a little gate there, close to the wall. And then we, when, whenever the, the cowboy is ready or the child is ready, they tell us, open the gate. And then we open the gate, and then here comes the, the steer running. And the cowboy or the charro has to catch up that steer, grab him by the tail if he can. Okay. But both of them, they run like you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. As fast yeah. as he can. And so can we walk a little bit with this horse? Yeah. Let's see. Actually, he's already walking. There we go. There it is. He's already walking. I learned from, from one of our other segments that I did. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, how do I stop him? Just uh, pull that a little bit. Just pull him a little there bit. There we go. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Smooth, awesome. Smooth. Now smooth. we turn him okay. around. Yeah. If he can turn around. Yeah. Come on. As you can see, I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to <laughs> learn here. <laughs> Thank you, Vicente. Okay, so if you have any questions or if you want to come and participate at the event, you can come and you can call, contact uh, Vicente actually at 444 5678. That's pretty easy. 444 5678. Seven, eight. We'll be taking it uh, to a break, but we'll be back with Pharmacy Doug for Fitness Friday. Hey guys, so there's a coleadero, which is a Mexican rodeo that's going on tomorrow. But we'll be telling you all about it after the break and how the Mexican cowboys ride on the horses to wrestle the bulls. Welcome back to Daybreak. We're here at a ranch in North Amarillo, warming up because there's a rodeo that's going on tomorrow. It's called Coleadero. Oh, and yes, it's a yes. Mexican rodeo. This is Vicente Soto. He's the one coordinating this. And so you guys are actually going to be in the parade tomorrow morning. Yes, we are. After that, we go to the, to the Coleadero. To the Coleadero. Okay, yes. so we have actually a vaquero, which is a Mexican cowboy right here. 
and he's actually going to be showing us right now how you actually get on the horse, ride it, and get this bull that you see here too to wrestle with the bull. Vicente is opening the door, and this is how he grabs the tail. And Vicente, can you tell us the techniques gonna, behind this? He's going to look for the tail. He's okay. going to look for the tail. See. To try this, to grab this, the tail, then. Yeah, this is for the sake of illustration only. Right. In the real world, uh, he's more not going to be tight, out in the open. you know. But he's gonna he's gonna look for detail. Okay. Okay. So he's trying to. It's not easy as we can see. No, no, it's not easy. It's not easy as it looks. So how long could could, could this take for? There it is. Oh, there now he, he is? grabbed the he, now he grabbed the tail. Now awesome. he grabbed the tail okay. A bit, okay. And so what else is gonna be at the coliadero? Well, we're gonna have uh, ponies for the kids, and we're gonna have this jumping jumping activities. Jumping the activities. We're gonna have music, we're gonna have music and food. to eat, yeah, eat, and we're gonna have a band coming from Albuquerque. So come Some over Mexican here. Music Some too. Mexican so music. There's, there's a way that you can celebrate the kickoff of Hispanic Heritage Month this weekend, and it's uh, at um, the It's 4400, 4400 Sunborn. It's called Ocho Segundos Arena. Okay, on Amarillo Boulevard. So if you guys have any more questions, you can feel free to call 444 56 and you can contact me on Facebook for any stories that you want to see yourself on Daybreak.